Hi, I'm Angelique Boyens. I'm a food photographer and videographer. And today we're here at Pokey Co in Kluwerth Street shooting their summer menu. And um, yeah, like what you're seeing behind here is our harsh light photography and it's been fun. <laughs> It started out with me sharing my food creations on social media, initially not taking it seriously at all and not knowing anything about photography. Later on, my passion for photography was born when I needed to start learning how to capture images so the food looks appealing and I was trying to tell a story through the images. After plenty of trial and errors, some local brands noticed my work, which led to collaborations and I was thinking maybe I can do this as a full-time thing. I now have a studio and food photography and videography is my full-time job. I produce content for various platforms including restaurants, products, websites, social media, blogs, packaging and print media. Keep experimenting with new techniques and styles and use social media to share your work and connect with other photographers. Networking, collaborating and seeking feedback from other creators in the industry can really be invaluable to your growth. I highly recommend enrolling yourself in short courses for food styling, photography and even how to market yourself. Reach out to local brands and offer to do free shoots for them. This can really help build your portfolio in the beginning while gaining practical experience and establishing connections. If you're fortunate, these opportunities may lead to paid projects and even long-term partnerships. Lastly, keep pushing your boundaries, stay connected with the community and embrace opportunities for learning and growth. Today I brought two lenses with me, the 24-70mm f2.8 for a little bit of flexibility and a macro lens, the 100mm f2.8 for those drip, drizzles and bite shots. In my books, this macro lens is a must for food photography. I also never leave without extra battery packs, some lens cleaning tools and for food photography a little pastry brush, tweezers and kitchen towel is essential. I also brought my Godox SL60 light for some harsh shadows and light play. Props are quite essential for me as well. It helps guide the viewer's eye to the subject and creates a story around the food. So today we're working with some palm leaves and a crockery as well. So people can find me at TGR Studios um, on, on Instagram or The Good Roots. Um, the Good Roots is kind of like my place where I put my own recipes out and TGR Studios is kind of like where I put all my clients work on for everyone to see and like that's my zero to one.